Candy Canes and Holly Body Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. With white paint, we're going to be painting two candy canes, and I'm going to be painting these right on the inside of my wrist. And so you're going to start, and I'm just going to paint an X, and this will just give you a pretty good base knowledge of where you want each candy cane to be and the angles that they're on. And then add the hook on the end of each one. And once you have those, those are almost like sketched in, you're going to want to go through and smooth out your lines, add a second coat if you need to, you know, all that good stuff. And now with red body paint, I'm just going to go through and add thin stripes on my canes. And the reason I'm making them thin, you know, it depends on what kind of candy cane, how thick the stripes are. But if you make the stripes too thick, you're going to be getting more of the white pigment re-moistened from underneath. And it might turn your stripes pink. So I decided to make them thin just to be on the safe side. Depending on the quality of body paint you're using, that might not be a concern. But I just thought I'd put that out there for something that you should keep in mind. And I'm just taking a cotton bud dipped in some water, and I'm just going to get rid of the middle. Same thing, the less pigment underneath it, the less chance that everything's going to get muddy. So now I'm going to paint four holly leaves, two going on either side. And as you can see, some of it is going on top of the candy canes that we painted, but you don't want to like scrub the brush on your arm too much or wherever you're painting because you're going to want to be a little bit more gentle where it is overlapping with the other colors. And then up above the, um, the holly in between the tops of the candy canes I'm just going to be painting a filigree pattern and you can of course follow the one that I'm using um, but I think it's easiest when I'm painting a filigree if I just sort of paint the swirls where they happen to go, where they fit the best, and it'll depend on how wide your candy canes are and things like that. So then with dark green paint, you're going to want to just add the veins in the holly leaves. And then I'm also going to be shadowing the sides, or the one side of the filigree. So when you're doing this, you're not going to just add a swirl that goes right next to the swirl that you're trying to shadow. It's going to always be on the left side of it or the right side of it, depending on which way you decide to go. So as you can see, it goes back and forth depending on where it is. And if you've never done this type of thing before, you could just do it the other way where you just go right along the inside or the outside. Um, but this does add a sort of different dimension to it. So now that I am going to be taking a thin black line and I'm going to be outlining all my holly leaves and the candy canes. And when you are doing this outlining, I suggest that I, the way I get my body paint activated is I dip my brush in water and then I let the brush drip into the cake of the paint. And before, and you don't want to just go straight and start painting from that point. You're going to want to then take that brush and press it against a paper towel or a towel or a tissue or something to get rid of that excess water. Otherwise, it'll water down your paint and your colors won't be nearly as rich. So that's just another little technique that I thought I'd share. So now I'm going to be taking eyelash glue, and this is just cheap eyelash glue that I got at the dollar store. And you're going to want to paint, or paint, but um, add a couple drops of that to place your gems for the holly berries. And you can also use liquid latex. Um, I do want to mention that if you have a latex allergy, don't use eyelash glue or liquid latex because you'll probably get a reaction to them. 
And then thank you so much for watching. I hope you like my body art design. And please share any recreations with me on Facebook and Twitter. I always love to see them. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!